What's going on guys, Luca again, back with another Injustice 2 video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the newest characters added into the Injustice 2 mobile, and that is Sub-Zero. This is a gold arcane class, he's 4 stars, as you can see, 16 out of, 16 out of 440 shards, sorry, 17,000 threat at the moment, currently got him at level 27. So I got this from actually the 4 star Sub-Zero special pack so it was £43.99 and I believe you got a four star sub-zero you got every piece of sub-zero gear at level 20 which is awesome as well as a thousand gems so in my opinion this is a lot better than some of the last some of the previous offers that they had like I mean you had the Batman versus Superman version of Superman and you also had the mythic Wonder Woman which were both available well mythic Wonder Woman at four stars you only got a gear at level five or level 10 I believe but because Sub-Zero's gears up at level 20 per item which is awesome as you can see here we have his mask we have his chest plate we have his gauntlets we also have his sub-zero boots and his ice hammer so as you can see i'll take um, i'll take one of them off just so you can see what it looks like before you put full gear on so this is what it looks like there and then you can tell that when he puts full gear on he does change a little bit uh, as you can see he's got a bit more armor and a little bit shinier um, so I haven't touched him I haven't played with him yet and um, basically I put him in one operation for 10 hours and also put all my arcane class uh, XP capsules on him um, to level him up as much as I can. I got him to level 27, which isn't bad. Uh, as you can see, clone combatant, I've upgraded the most so far. Um, and I also upgraded the frost hammer a little bit as well. But what we're going to do is we're probably going to upgrade probably, I don't want to say as much as I can, but I'm definitely probably going to try and get level 10 on uh, most of these skills. So frost hammer, as you can see, is a level 7. So, uh, but it's also a four star, well, four bar of power move, should I say. Um, I also want to upgrade the cl clone toss, sorry, because that is very overpowered from what I've seen people using, well, seen from people using him, should I say. I've seen a few videos on Sub Zero. Um, but yeah, someone actually commented on one of my uh, previous Injustice 2 mobile videos saying, can I do a video on the uh, Sub Zero offer? So, my opinion, he's definitely worth it. Um, It'll, it'll help you massively because I believe even at level one when he's a four star with all of his gear I believe he's like he got, he's got a threat of like 10 or 11 thousand I believe um, so yeah I definitely recommend it let's let's have a, let's upgrade the ice ball as well a little bit maybe try and get this to around level five at least maybe a little bit more we've only got 21k credits well 20k credits left should I say um, so what else do we need to upgrade I'll just keep upgrading the ice ball for now and yeah so i don't know i don't know if you can only get his shards from the uh from the challenge because i've actually been playing the challenge a little bit but i've only i have been getting shards but then i did like a massive chest opening and pretty much non non dropped like no sub-zero dropped but anyway these are his stats he's got eight thousand health a thousand damage, ten percent crit chance, nineteen defense, sixteen percent lethal chance, and uh, one point five nine percent crit damage. So we're gonna go into arena. I haven't played arena in a couple of days. Main reason being, I I just haven't played. <laughs> I just haven't played. But we're gonna chuck in Sub Zero, and this is gonna be my Sub Zero epic video because I want to see how good he is. So I'm gonna go up against. We'll go up against this legendary Batman here. So this will be my first time playing with Sub Zero. As you can see, they looks very, very awesome. Um, I'm really glad that they added him in to Injustice 2 Mobile uh, in one of the recent updates. So let's just see how he does against Batman. So so it seems like he's attacking quite fast. Let's, what's his jump attack? Oh, we're getting battered here. Let's hit him with a special two. Alright, so we've frozen him. So what we're probably going to do now is we're probably going to test out his special one. Before I kill him. Uh, so let's just drop back. Let's hit him with a special one. If I don't die. 
Oh, that's that special one was kind of nice. Oh, I like the way he finishes as well. The way he just freezes himself and then breaks out of it. So, yeah, so Zero seemed pretty good. I mean, to be fair, his threat level could be up a lot more. I need to start putting him in more operations. But since it is the weekend, I am going to be doing that because I only unlocked him on Thursday, I believe. So let's just go into this game, this match here now. So we're, this guy's got more threat than us, but we're up against a Batman. And I think I saw a Harley Quinn there as well. But... Let's see how we do against these with our Sub-Zero because I want to test out that special free because it, it seems very overpowered. It seems very, very, very overpowered. Um, so what we're probably going to do is we're probably going to take out Batman straight away. Yeah, he seems pretty weak. So now we've got Emerald Green Lantern. What's his downwards tackle? All right. Oh, I like that little nin ninja kick. So, yeah, we are going to test out his... We're going to take out Deadshot. And then by the time we take him out, we should have our special. Right, so uh, let's open this. Oh, no. There we go. Right, so it's actually unblockable. So that's awesome that it's... That's actually really overpowered. That is so overpowered. That is actually sick. That is such an overpowered move. Yeah, Sub-Zero is definitely worth buying. Oh my god. Let's try him against Dr. Fate. I want to see how he does against Dr. Fate. But, yeah, he's, that was overpowered as hell. The way, like, you just essentially just take their guy. It doesn't kill him, but it just takes their, their guy and you just fight with him. So it's similar to Harley Quinn, Unhinged Harley Quinn, where when she kills someone, you get to use the guy that she killed. But anyway, let's try him against this. I want to try and I want to do his super move as well, so I might try and do. I might just do a separate video on the special free. But I want to try and save up for his special, if I don't kill him before, and that is. So yeah, he's got a nice four-hit combo. Well, a nice four-hit basic combo. You can obviously change that to a uh, a dash attack. But yeah, we are close to his uh, close to his special. Well, we have got his special, should I say? But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do this, and we're gonna use it on Doctor Fate. Oh, look at this! Here comes the hammer, Bosh! How awesome is that special move? Andy gets a super boost after it. Awesome. They've changed the arena as well. It's now something to do with, like you used to be able to, like what you used to do in arena, you used to make a team of 25,000 threat or above, and you, that's how you get the most score. But now it's actually something to do with the uh, the way that, that their enemy's threat is divided by something, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, we're going to go into this next one. This guy has 3,000 more threat than us, 21,000. He also has a poison ivy as well as a green arrow. And he had, was it was it another Batman? Was he really coming up against another Batman? I hate, I just hate Batman special too when he stuns you because he stuns you for about 10 minutes. But I suppose, oh, it is Batman as well. So yeah, poison ivy seems like... The hardest opponent, but we haven't taken a hit yet. Alright, so he's sub Batman out. In, should I say. Oh, I knew he'd get me with a stun every time. Bosh. Done. Another one done. So. Yeah, Sub Zero is awesome. Seriously, <laughs> Sub Zero is amazing. I I think he's gonna be, he's definitely gonna be my main team. My main team now is looking like it's going to be Sub Zero, Maximum Deadshot, and Robin. 
I feel like that's what it's going to be now. Um, let's try this one. Primal Swamp thing. This will be my last game as well because uh, the video is already like kind of too long. And this is actually our last arena pip for Sub-Zero. So I will definitely have some more uh, Sub-Zero gameplay out probably in the next few days. Um, as well as some of the other new characters. I haven't got my hands on Captain Cold yet before you're uh, saying anything in the comments. I will try to get him. Or if anyone knows how to get him. Like because I mean he's not even like the arena reward. Um, he's, I haven't seen him. Well I haven't seen anyone get him in a chest. Uh, including me, I spent like six or seven thousand gems and I just haven't got anything. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably not going to spend any more gems now until another batch of characters come out. I would have thought, but all right, so we've taken him out. Let's use the ice clone. Oh, look at this. So yeah, this is awesome. Is, I, am I gonna get the? Uh, oh no, I, I don't get the bring back to the brought back to life ability. But we'll hit him with a special two now. The freeze. Let's chuck a ice ball at him. Oh no! All right, so we're about to end him now. Oh no, he's gonna come back. Let's try and hit him with a special one. Oh, I'm for Lin Kuei. Done. So, oh, there we have it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Some Sub Zero gameplay, four star. Uh, would I recommend buying the offer for him? Definitely. Um, if you don't want to spend that much, you could always just get the uh, the three star Sub Zero because that's it's essentially half the price, but you get half of everything, I suppose. Um, so let's just have a look what you actually get from this. So you actually get three star Sub Zero, all of his gear at level five, and five hundred gems. So I mean. The four star is so much better, but it's up to you guys. But I would definitely recommend buying it. But that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to drop the video a like. Let me know what other Injustice 2 mobile videos you would like to see. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.